you, you guard against becoming too satisfied with what you've already done and having already run your race, if you see what I mean? Um, I don't think we're, you know, we're, we're done. I don't think we're satisfied. Uh, you know, we said that, uh, that we were going to get to the Final Four, but Coach, uh, from the beginning of the season, he said we want to win the championship. You know, we want to win the title. So uh, We know it's good to be here, but it's not, it's not uh, our goal. When, when did you start to think over the course of the season, actually, yeah, this team really could go all the way? Um, I, I knew from probably early on in the season once uh, our chemistry came together really fast. Um, you know, we had a lot of new players on the team, and usually there's a, a learning curve there. But, um, you know, with experienced players and the guys that we have on the team, uh, the good character guys we have, uh, we gelled really quickly, and uh, it's been a great season so far. How did that chemistry come together? Because it doesn't always happen, does it? It's just a lot of guys who, who are willing to sacrifice and they, they know how to win, they know how to play. Um, so nobody's out there trying to do too much, you know, and, uh, and hopefully everybody plays their role tomorrow and we will uh, you know, win the game. And just on the, the injuries, everyone's talking about Fenerbahce's injuries and got most of them in the big man position. So does that give an opportunity for you and Tibor and the other guys to, to really exploit? Um, not really. I think that uh, the injuries that they had were... were uh, before, you know, now now they should be healthy, um, as the big men at least. Um, I know they're missing a couple players, a couple key players, but uh, we can only play who's out there, so uh, when we get out there, it's going to be good. And do you think you can, against the, the famous Abradovic defense, keep your offensive fluidity? That's been the strength of the team all season, keep the ball moving, play at a high pace. Can you keep doing that? Uh, yeah, we can keep doing it as long as everybody's willing to, uh, to give up the ball. Um, you know, their, their defensive scheme is, is, is really tough. Uh, it's always going to be a tough game against them. They're, they're a great team, but uh, we have to play tomorrow. So, Brian? Um, Brian, yeah. obviously you've got the experience of playing in Final Fours before. Mm -hmm. Have you been trying to share that with the guys coming into this one? Uh, I, I've shared uh, the, the little experience I do have. Um, I told them basically just to focus on the game, and uh, the most important thing is, is basketball at the end of the day. And for you, obviously, last year it was so tough for you guys to finish bottom of the ladder. What was it like for you emotionally to see the way you guys charged back up this year? Uh, it was great. It was great. Uh, I'm not sure... I haven't seen uh, too many teams go from the last place team to, to make it to the Final Four, but uh, it's been a, a great year so far and we, we need to finish it off with a win. Thanks, good luck tomorrow.